Hello, everyone. Uh, we'll just wait a little bit for people to, to come in and to start before starting the presentation. So thank you for coming today. Uh, many discussion you may have here in the doors are about the way the open source world is working, or at least should be working, and you will have a lot of discussion about that. At least I, I hope you will have a lot of discussion about the open source world. But today, uh, this keynote will be slightly different because um, I want to share with you an illustration of the open source world in action. Um, to begin with, I will start with, uh, thank you. I will start with uh, a quote from Linus Torvald because I think it's pretty appropriate for this event. And um, also because I think it's uh, the perfect quote to illustrate the thing I want to share with you today. In real open source, you have the right to control your own destiny. Um, this is something we are believing in, in it, and this is why we have created the XCPNG project in the first place. So, in the end of 2017, Citrix Xen Server take a turning point decision regarding the pricing model and the price string strategy. They decide to apply for their famous supervisor, Citrix Xen Server. Xen Server, uh, for those who are not familiar with it, is a distribution of the Xen project and is uh, acting mostly as a turnkey Xen. So this uh, decision they have taken about the pricing strategy they will apply on that pushed us to create an alternative, a free and open source alternative that we have decided to call XCPNG. XCP is an homage to the old community edition of uh, uh, Xen Cloud Platform, which uh, disappeared around 2013. At that time, Xen Server itself became an open source solution, and most of the features go in the freeze edition, so there was no need anymore for a community edition. But uh, even if uh, this, uh, this decision in, in the end of 2017 pushed us to bring back from the dead the old Xen Cloud Platform project and to apply a new generation of it, so therefore ETPNG is what we want to, to do, what we have started to do, and what we are talking about is recent history. We have made a Kickstarter campaign uh, to raise funds to create the XCPNG uh, project in the beginning of this year, in the end of January to be precise, and it's uh, only three months old. And uh, this, uh, this Kickstarter has been uh, quite a good success, and this is part of the reason why I'm here today. This is to share with you what you can do with uh, momentum and a community around uh, an open source project. So, there is some key data that I would like to explore with you. First of all, I'll say the decision of Citrix. Citrix is a major company, it's a big company, and in 2017 they have announced a big change in their pricing model for the Xen Server hypervisor. So we act in January to create the, we, to create the, the Kickstarter campaign, and we have raised about 50,000 euro around this, so I think it's about uh, 370,000 uh, kunas. I'm not sure if it's the way you say it. <laughs> and uh, this is quite a big success for us, and I think we should just try to think a minute about that, because it means that 50,000 euros collected around an open source project means that hundreds of people around the globe, hundreds of people, companies, as well as individuals, have decided to throw some money, to put some money, to invest their own resources into a project that will be free in the end for everyone. Uh, I think this is something that is worth to tell because that's something, in my opinion, that can appear only in the open source world. You will not see that in any other situation. Before jumping into the details of the XCPNG story, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Marc-André Pozin, and uh, I'm the community manager for the XCPNG project and also for the Xenox Star project. Um, I am also the marketing manager at the Vates company, which is the, the company behind this true project. And uh, as you may have noticed, I'm not, the, um, I'm not the, exactly a tech guy, so this keynote will not be uh, oriented on a technical level of the XCPNG project, but more about the story, that we are, what we have created with the XCP project. And I would like to share with you the vision of a world where open source is the key tool, the leading tool, for development and which is apply for individual as well as company. This is the real win-win relationships that we can create. However, if you have some technical question, you can still reach our uh, team on the email address. If you want to have more information about the XCPNG project itself, you can 
go on the website, and if you're interested into testing the project, developing into the project, or anything related to the community stuff, we have a pretty active community forum, so feel free to join and start discussing with other users of the project. So, as I said, sorry, uh, we have launched a crowdfunding campaign in the end of January, and we have raised around 50,000 euros. To be a little bit more precise, we have raised 30,000 euros on Kickstarter platform itself, a little bit more, and about 15,000 by direct donation, mostly from companies that could don't use Kickstarter platform for accountability or administrative reasons. So, in the end, we have raised about 50,000, which, which was very impressive. But, uh, in order to help you to understand a little bit more about the context, I will need to present the company I'm working in, Vates, uh, because uh, with some context, you will maybe understand a little bit, well, a bit, a little, bit a little more well why we have decided to, to create XCP Engine in the first place. The main project, the main product we have at Vates is called Xen Orchestra, and it's a web interface working exclusively with Xen Server. This is a choice we have made a long time ago, mostly because of the Xen API, which, which find awesome. And uh, it's not only a web interface uh, like Xen Center, it's a web interface that provides a lot of additional features thanks to the Xen API. Uh, backup or Delta backup or file over restoration data visualization and a lot, uh, a complete set of features for any kind of companies. So by the way, Xen Orchestra is a completely open source project, so you can build it from the source and we have a complete documentation to do so. Uh, our business model is to sell support and automatic updates to companies that uh, are using the tool in production environment. So that's how we are doing things. So we may say that uh, the open source is really in the DNA of Vates and we are working, all the projects we are working on are uh, entirely open source. So, I think you are starting to see the picture now. Um, in the end of 2017, Zen Server, the hyper reserve we are working with, announced a major turning point. With the 7.3 update, not only some features were moved from the free edition to the other uh, edition like the standard or the enterprise one, but in addition, they introduced a limitation of three hosts in the same pools. So as I said, we have a real open source DNA at Vates, and maybe that's the reason why we started to have a lot of interrogation. You understood that uh, Vates is, uh, and Xen Orchestra to be more precise, is strongly dependent of the, on the health and adoption of Xen Server at a global level, and the decision of Citrix makes us have a lot of interrogation about the future of uh, Xen Server, and therefore uh, to have a lot of interrogation about the future, our own future as well. So at that point, we decided it was about time to discuss, to engage the discussion with the Xen server team to know, you know, what was the plan about that, well, what they were expecting to do. Well, <laughs> the discussion were interesting, but we quickly understood that we were not in the same line of thinking. There were, the Citrix is a huge company, with their own agenda, and that's uh, understandable. But uh, there were, for too many aspects, far from the open source level that Xen Server was some times ago. So these discussions were interesting, but uh, they didn't bring a lot, of, um, a, a lot of clue for us about the future. So at that point, we did what we always do when we are planning the future of our product. And we start discussing with our own customer base. And when I say customers, I mean users, because we have a very different profile. We have from the source users, which are building the solution themselves and use it in their own environment, most of the time, home lab environment. But we also big company customers, small company customers. We have a very different uh, panel of profile of people. So during this discussion, and we had a lot of them, uh, we were asking what was the feeling of our community about that? What was the feeling of our community about the new strategy Citrix had adopted for Xen Server? And the more it goes in the discussion, and the more we had the feeling that we, something, something can be done, something should be done about that. And in the end, uh, because we got a lot of enthusiasm from our user base, uh, 
uh, we had the conviction that we finally, we, we shall do something. Um, that we could inject a little bit of our open source DNA into the, the Xen server code and create something new. And that is how the project XCPNG is born in the first place. This is how it happens. Okay, it happened at this moment. The project was only born in our minds and uh, nothing was even done. The journey was not even started. But the discussion we had with our customers provided such a lot of enthusiasm that we were considering and we started discussing to launch a Kickstarter campaign in order to raise some funds and to create XCPNG. And not only to create it, because we were ready to do it anyway, but to improve and to go further and to make it faster and easier. So we were expecting some success, I must say. Uh, because we worked a lot for that, and uh, we had uh, uh, already some companies and users that were ready to help us and that have promised to help us as well as, well, as, well as they could. So we were expecting a success for this campaign, but we were not expecting that much success for this campaign. Because when we launched the campaign on Trust after and in the end of January, after spreading the news to the IT community as well as we could, uh, we got a momentum that we were not expecting. In the four first hours of the campaign, we had already financed the first, the initial target, which was 6,000 euro. And in only 12 hours, we have doubled that amount. And it brings bring us roughly one month later, in the end of, in the beginning of March, the three or the fourth, if I remember correctly, to 35,000 collected on Kickstarter, 15,000 collected outside of Kickstarter. So it was an amount that was close to be 10 times the initial target we had. The initial objectives we had for XCPNG was to create a manual ISO that you can build from yourself very easily, a simple installation process. And uh, we have created it. Uh, we have an engagement to deliver it uh, in the end of March this, this year. So, it's very recent, but the first version is now live on the website, and you can already download XCPNG and use it, test it, and provide some feedback about it. The next release is already scheduled. It will be in the end of this month. It's about in about two weeks from now, and uh, it will mostly be focused on the removal of the Citrix trademark and the Xen Server trademark for uh, legal compliance. So. There is also some companies that have shown some interest into getting some support for a production environment for XCPNG, and uh, this is something that we are planning to provide to them. Uh, this is also a good way for us to continue to invest time and money into the project, even after the momentum we have created with the Kickstarter campaign and during the, the beginning of the project, we'll have disappeared. Uh, so this is what we call the convergence between the needs of the community, which need uh, an up-to-date, an update product uh, on a regular basis and something that is continuing to live uh, in the future, and uh, business needs, uh, because obviously it's a kind of project uh, on which we will invest time and people will, will work on it, and uh, the first Kickstarter campaign will not be enough to, to survive to, the, to this project for a long period of time. So, this is convergence between the business need and the community needs, and that's something we are intending to provide. Because we are intending to, to make XCPNG a project that lives on the long run, and a real uh, open source alternative to Xen Server. So I think that XCPNG is quite a good illustration of how powerful can be an open source community and can be open source tools in the IT world. In many different business, when uh, you have an issue with your, pro with your product, when you are not satisfied with the, with the way uh, companies licensing your product, there is, in fact, very little you can do about that. Sure, you can see the competitors and you can decide to, to, to change the product, but you will have no guarantee of the to, you are not guaranteed to find an alternative that is, suits your need. So, when Citrix chose a path that we and a lot of our customers were not ready to follow in the end of 2017, 
we have the opportunity to seize the moment and to take control of our own destiny. XCPNG is a new path, an alternative to Zen Server, and it's built by the people that want to use it. It's built by people that want to control the destiny of their own infrastructure all over the globe. We believe that this is the true power of open source, and if it does not switch you, you can change it. You can fork it, you can create an alternative, and you can gather people around you that have the same feeling as you, and you can create not something which is new, you can create something which is closer to your own needs. And closer to your need means that an open source project always have a better potential to achieve high quality standards of projects because it does not rely on a single group of people. It does not rely on a single group of, of developers. It relies on its whole community. And even if the XCPNG journey has just started right now, uh, XCPNG is on its journey with hundreds of people. Hundreds of people are around, out, around that project and are ready to test the project, to provide some feedback, to improve the existing features and to create new possibilities that we are not aware right now. This is not only good for individuals, this is good for a company as well, and this is what we call a win-win relationship. This is the, the vision we are believing at Vates, and this is what I wanted to share with you today. And thank you for, for being here, thank you for listening to that, and if you have any question, I may answer it right now. Any question, maybe? <laughs> yes? Is the fact that you have decided to do a Kickstarter campaign, is it uh, wind in your back, or was it uh, some kind of a weight? The, did you feel like forced to do something? What if the goal wouldn't be achieved? Would you still go ahead and do, uh, do project out of your own funds? Uh, is it good to see that there is a community support, or would you be disappointed if there was no support? <laughs> um. Obviously, if uh, the, the Kickstarter campaign has failed, by example, but it could not. Because, as I said, we were expecting some success. We have already some companies interesting to helping us. And we were ready, as a company, to invest a little bit in, in this project, too. So at least it would have been a little success. Uh, so sure, we would have been disappointing, because it, will, it, it should have means that the, the people were not interested in having a, a XCP uh, and an, uh, an open source hypervisor solution. So, in a certain way, it would have confirmed what Citrix, what we think Citrix is thinking about it, and that people do not need an hypervision solution. They need a stack for Citrix. Zen Server is just the lower peel of the complete solution, and they are selling a, a complete pack with a, a desktop virtualization and stuff like that. So. In a certain way, if we have failed on this campaign, it would have been the confirmation that Citrix was right. But this campaign was, first, it was a, a way to, to gather some money to create the project on a, a more steady basis. Uh, the second point, it was to, to try to, to see if the community was around that, was okay with that, and was uh, interesting in that fact. And the, the point is that with the success we had with the campaign, no, we, we are aware that people want an alternative, and there is still something to do in the hypervisor market. There is still something that can be done in the open source and hypervision for virtual machine solution. Any other question, maybe? OK, well, so thank you for listening to me. Um, I, thank you. Thank you.